Okay, here we are today with the Nerf Zombie Strike Flip Fury. If you want to know more about this blaster, its features, what it comes with, and how it functions, make sure to head on over to the overview video up on my channel. But what's most important right now is the ranges. Now, this video is going to be split into two parts. First off, we're just going to fire it straight up, all 12 shots. And then on the second part, we're going to fire it with the slam fire mode, just to see if that makes any difference in the ranges. But right now, here we go. Whoop, as I, there we go. Yeah, okay. Thought I was done there. Okay, so that's all 12 shots fired off. Not even a breeze at the moment, really. One dart just kind of caught and went, but here we go. Mostly you can see, actually, right in, very consistent and down the tape, which is different for something shooting elite darts. But here's our lowest shot, kind of spiraled out. That one is sitting just above 36 feet. So we work our way up, like I said, pretty much right down the tape. Hello, Shadow Shadow. And i uh, going to call the middle. We've got some down that way. The distance spread is pretty long on this one. They're all pretty straight, but the distance is uh, pretty spread out. I'm going to give this one the range for the middle of 53, 54 feet for the middle-ish. Um, come up on our top shots. So got this guy that's way out. And then come into that one and then work our way over. And that's our highest shot. That one is sitting just above. 60 feet so there you go 60 feet for the flip fury normal fire let's uh get it loaded back up and see what the slam fire does okay here we are back again with the flip fury this time we're gonna slam fire it so here we go well so holding down the trigger six and flip And there's all 12. Now, there is no breeze, or at least if there's a slight breeze, it's the exact same that it was for this regular test. And as you can tell, those went all over the place, but that's definitely gonna be due to with slam fire. Obviously, you're not holding it as steady. Um, so, now, and also, usually it'd be even worse, because usually you're trying to do it as fast as possible. If I did that, then, the ranges would be absolutely useless because that would, thing would be shaking around so much. But anyway, lowest shot, 32 feet. We've got, and that one really spiraled out because we've got a big gap before we come up on any more. We got a bunch here, and I'm going to call the middle with this cluster, which tops out right around 51 feet. And so now... I think the closest, the farthest one's the closest end of the tape. Just to give you an idea, we got this one, and then that one, and then all the way back over there's the tape. But right here, got our farthest shot. That one, we bring it down, sitting just under 61 feet. So almost negligible. Um, range difference doing slam fire regular fire um so i was trying to even though i was firing it with the slam fire mode i was trying to hold it as stable as possible um but there you go so flip fury pretty decent performer uh however you want to fire it but there you go as always thanks for watching